Hi there. Um, my background is, uh, is in journalism, actually. I worked for CBC for many years. And uh, when I retired, uh, I had been collecting lots of old toys. I was, I was sort of really into the retro whole thing. And I went online one day, and I saw these sort of robots that people were building. And I thought, oh, I could do that. That looks like fun. So I started disassembling a lot of the stuff I had around, old toys and things like that, and then reassembling them. And, and that was sort of the beginning of it all. So I started with robots, which I called brobots. And, uh, you know, they all had a bit of character, and they all... They all, they were all kind of fun pieces, and they were fun. To, it was so much fun to do. I, uh, I, I'm sort of a, a cryptic crossword puzzle fanatic, and these pieces, they're like, three D cryptic crossword puzzles for me, you know. And I also love surrealism, and I also love that whole sort of retro, fifties, kind of genre. So you put that all together, and I sit in my studio, and I have you know, boxes of parts, and I start, you know, putting this together with this, and I never really know what's going to come out of it all. But uh, eventually I get to a point where I go, oh, well, that, it's a question of balance or something. There's something, there's a moment, you know, that epiphany, there's that moment where you go, well, that balances, that looks good. And it's sort of then, and I sort of get an idea, okay, this is, that this is where the piece is taking me. It's not really, I don't really have any preconceived ideas beforehand. So I just let it go and have fun. And uh, basically, you know, if the people enjoy, have as much fun wa looking at them as I do making them, perfect. It's called uh, the old timer. This is my wife's favorite. And uh, it's one of the first pieces, one of the first pieces I made, I suppose. It's probably uh, about three years old because I started, only started doing this about, I guess about four years ago. And it's basically, uh, I mean, I do it for fun. It's not a job or anything. I, you know, I don't do it to, for any other reason than just to have fun doing it. And, and uh, I spend a lot of time in the studio. I have a studio at home, uh, which is really handy. And uh, it's just fun. So this guy here is the old timer. So, I mean, the, the main body here is an old coffee pot. There's a couple of... Uh, old watches for eyes. Uh, this, uh, this is a horn ornament. I think it's off a Hillman, some British car. This wooden bar part is an old speaker cabinet. Uh, these plastic parts, I think they're off uh, egg cups or something. These arms are uh, railway, old railway tracks, toy railways. This is the, the top of the uh, coffee pot. And there's a light inside. So that's all it does is light up, but that's enough. And this hanging around his neck, I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, some sort of fraternal order of something or other. And uh, yeah, the, go the only thing, like all my pieces, I like them to be vintage. And I like all the pieces to be vintage. This is the only piece actually where it is not vintage because these goggles are not vintage. I'm still looking for some real vintage goggles. They're hard to find, the old leather ones or old uh, welding mask type of goggles, but uh, it works, at least it, it fits with the chrome, but it's a little, it's not retro, but it's close enough. Well, I think this one's my favorite. It's called uh, Beaver Thanks You. It's called that because it's a beaver bubblegum machine and it says right here, Beaver Thanks You. And uh, it was a bit, a bit of engineering to, uh, God, there's a beaver skull and beaver skin. And I had to put a turntable in there. So I used a, a motor from a barbecue rotisserie that you use, you know, for cooking chicken. You put it in your barbecue. They're good, great motors. And they run at a nice slow speed. And the top, this was a, the beaver was off a trophy of some kind. And I also had to put the, put the light in there too. So it was... It was a bit of a challenge, but uh, there's something about it. It's it's surreal. It's sort of my uh, homage to Dali. I don't know if you know Dali, his uh, his lobster telephone.
for me, this is uh, my my beaver gum machine. So it makes me laugh still. Every time I turn it on, it makes me laugh.